Okay, so configuring the cloud. This is a little tricky. The cloud is emulating um, a frame relay switched network. Okay, frame relay switches, right? So the cloud is emulating that. So we click on the cloud and we go over here and click on config, right? And we have to first configure our interfaces, right? Now, this cloud, all right, has a serial interface serial 0 connected here and then this one is serial 1 and then this one is serial 2 so 0 1 and 2 on the cloud so the clouds serial interfaces so I'll start with serial 0 first and serial 0 is connected to router 1 and the DLCI's 102 and 103 so I'm gonna say DLCI 102, which is meant to go to router 2, so I'm going to say that's going to go to R2, and then I'll click Add. And then I'll say 103 is going to go to R3, and then I'll click Add, right? Okay, and notice this frame relay serial interface, right, is on, and the LMI type is Cisco. There's two types, there's Cisco, and then there's IETF, or this one says ANSI, and then Q933A, but Cisco is the default, and so we're just going to leave it there, right? So now I have that configured. Now, serial 1 is this serial interface right here, and that's going to go, all right, it's 201 and DLCI 203 for the router here. So 201 will go here, 203 will go here. So I'll just say, okay, 201 goes to R1, all right, add and then 203 goes to R3 and then I'll click add and then last but not least serial 2 which is the last serial interface this one right here which goes to R3 which is the 301 and the 302 DLCI's so DLCI 301 goes to R1 add and 302 will go to R2 and add, right? So we got those interfaces basically configured now. Now what we can do is click on frame relay settings and we can set up the the um, the links. So first of all, serial 0, okay, going to R2. Let's see here, serial 0, R2, which an R2 over here is serial 1, okay, right serial 1 goes back to R1 right so that's kind of where it goes from serial 0 going to R2 from serial 1 going to R1 so it's kind of like a back and forth situation right serial 0 to R2 serial 1 to R1 right and when you have that set up correctly just hit add right and then now let's do starting with serial 0 let's go to R3 so serial 0 to R3, right, so serial 0 right here on the cloud to R3, and then this is serial 2 right here, this serial interface is 2, going back to R1, and we'll click Add. So now we have this path, and we have this path, and all we need is the path between these two routers. So whoops to do that what I'm gonna do is I'll say starting at serial 1 this time which is over here going to R3 okay serial 1 to R3 and then at R3 we've got serial 2 going back to R2 okay it's a little tricky but and click add now there's only really three paths there's this path this path and this path so once you have three of these they work back and forth so you only need three so now our frame relay cloud is configured